This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Danielle here, and the day has finally come. I have four years that I've lived here in Los Angeles and I've never been to a Savers before. A lot of the LA-based YouTubers that I watch always go there, so I don't know why it's taken me so long to, you know, finally get over there. But I do want to create a new series on my channel where I go to new thrift stores, well at least new to me, and then just rate them based on inventory, which I know it kind of all depends. Thrift stores either have their good days or bad days, but also price, location, how big the thrift store is, if it's dirty, organized, just kind of rate it based off all of these factors. And I feel like it'd be good for me just because I have a horrible memory and just going back to these videos knowing, okay, this thrift store was good, but this one wasn't. But also gives you guys a really good insight on if you're new to LA or whether you're an already an LA resident and maybe you've never heard of this thrift store, go check it out. Today we're gonna be taking on savers. I don't know the exact location, but I'll leave it down below in the description box, but also if there's if there's one that you want me to check out and rate, let me know down below in the comments too. Let's finally go to Savers. But just gonna cut in real quick before we head over to Savers to thank today's sponsor, which is Squarespace. They're an all-in-one platform to help build an online presence and run your business. So if you need help with anything from websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, they've got you. So I've been wanting to create my own website for the longest time, but me, technology, and coding, straight over my head, honestly, terminology in one ear, out the other. I just don't understand it. So it just made creating my own website really frustrating and intimidating until Squarespace reached out. They helped me get my site up and running within two days. And that includes everything from all the visuals, my branding, and then uploading all my inventory. I know a lot of you guys are also resellers, or even if you're a business owner and you're ready to make that professional step to make a site that belongs to you, that looks just as you want it, Squarespace is perfect for you. They have e-commerce templates, and I'm not just talking about a handful, but a ton. So don't worry about not being able to find a template that'll best envision what you want for your site. They also have inventory management, which is awesome for keeping all of your merchandise organized, but it'll also send you texts when any of your items gets low in supply or even out of stock. They have a simple checkout process and secure payment, so you're able to connect Stripe, PayPal, so that your buyers are able to make their purchases using their credit card, Venmo, or PayPal. Squarespace also has built-in mobile sites, so every design automatically includes a unique mobile experience that matches the overall style of your website, so your content looks good on any device as long as it has a screen it totally saved me over the weekend because I actually was talking to a potential buyer on Instagram and they wanted me to list a mystery bundle onto my site, but I was literally in a different city away from my desktop where I usually do all of my work. And because of that mobile site, I was able to actually upload it and make that sale. If you're ready to take your business to the next level, go ahead and visit squarespace.com for a free trial. And then when you're ready to launch, visit squarespace.com slash twinnell to get 10% off your first purchase of a domain or website using discount code twinnell. But a huge thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Let's finally go to Savers. It looks really big. Looks like it could have been a grocery store back in the day, unless it's always been a Savers. We got here an hour early. Not even kidding, it's 10.02 right now and they don't open it until 11. And there was a yard sale around the corner, but this boy doesn't want to go. And I really don't want to sit in the car for a full hour. Surprisingly, I found two items. We're a little slanted, we're a little sideways, but we just got back from that yard sale. Such good prices, so cheap. So I have two items. I honestly thought it was gonna be like three, five dollars each, but she was like two bucks. And I was like, heck yeah. The yard sale low key, nah, high key sucked. They didn't have a lot of good stuff there, but I did end up, ooh, this is horrible lighting. Okay, let me move you around. Okay, this is a little bit better lighting. I got this really cute pink one. Look at these little floral lace sleeves. And they also have a little vent here, a little ruched detail on the bus. I also don't know what size this is, but it looks like it'll fit. And then a little lettuce edge trim, light pink, come on. So this next one I'm really soaked for, but it is the brand Extreme, and I didn't know where it was from. It's actually from Kmart. I'm not sure if this is modern or whether it's from like Y2K, whether it's 90s, but y'all. It's red, we've got fire flames, we have embellishments on the neckline. So those are the two items that I got. Let's go finally see if Savers is open. I think it might be like 10.30ish. So we still have like a full 30 minutes, but let's go. People mean business in Arcadia. There's already a line just to enter Savers. I wonder if they have like maybe sales or like good discounts on the weekends. <laughs> Arthur Jimmy. <laughs> or whether it's just that good of a thrift store. But 
I'll let you know. Wow, guys, this place is just freaking huge. It's racks on racks on racks. It's insane. Something that I'm liking already though is that they do have everything organized by size. Came across these and they're really pretty. And it looks like they might fit me too. Look at this butt enclosure. But $20. I know that's still a really good price for jeans. But we do have a few flaws in here. So I think I'm going to leave these behind. But they are freaking cute. This is definitely one of those pieces that at first sight it is really ugly. We have this huge embellishment. It looks super tacky. But something about this print I'm so drawn to. And also maybe because a $5.99 price tag. Oh, you do not see that in Mid-City, so I think I might just have to put this in the cart. For the sake of this video, we're just gonna go ahead and check out shoes, but if you're familiar with my channel, I have horrible luck with them. Oh, oh my god, look at all these boots though. I could never walk in these, but let's just take a minute to appreciate how badass these look. I think I'm gonna just have to try them on for you. Yes, I just have to. Okay, these look really cool too. I love the upper, but this heel is so uncomfortable. Like my foot is already cramping and I've only had them on for like two months, but pass. This season, the Demonius 311, I think that's the right boot. I'll put it over here somewhere, have been super trendy. And I've seen so many TikTok girlies thrift them and they like retail for like two, $300. So never understood how that was possible. But I came across these. I do want to at least try them on. They're a size 10, so I know they're going to be way too huge. But I also came across these brown ones. Look at how high these are. And they're actually my size. So we're going to try them on and then decide which ones I'm going to take with me. Forget about the bike, but look at how cute these are. It's such a shame they're a size 10, though. But I'm going to leave them. So if you want them, savers in Arcadia. Oh, I'm totally vibing with these. I think they're super cute. I love how they hide my calf muscle because one of my insecurities, I just, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this wedge heel. I've never really liked them, but I'll leave it in the cart for now because I do really like them. Look, these shoes I already know are gonna be trouble, but they're mud, they're $7.99. That's actually pretty average. That's like the same shoe price as in Mid City, but we have a little wedge. It does look pretty bumpy so i don't know how much longer it's gonna last but this sole is really clean thank goodness it's a six and a half because this does not fit me at all but if you're vibing with these i'm gonna leave them behind they're beautiful Ooh, y'all look at this really fun print i don't usually pick up green but this honestly doesn't have very much shape to it so i'm gonna leave it behind and then 779 i feel like that's a little pricey this is a cool ombre. $6.29 for this. It kind of looks like it'd be Forever 21. What are you? Oh, it's actually Current Moon. So it's a brand that Dolls Kill actually carries. A little Y2K piece. Oh, that price? Yes, absolutely. Here we have two kind of ugly dresses, but they have really cool elements. This one I think I'm going to pass on just because it does have a few stains and I'm not really good at that, but this is really freaking awesome plus maybe this color isn't too great on me it just kind of washes me out this one's really hard to leave behind just because i think it's really cool you know what i think i'm gonna try it on and if it's short enough i'll take it with me i don't really even like purses but it's so nicely organized and hung that i low-key kind of want to go through all of this oh my god arthur just pointed this out so cute 5.99 such good price in here y'all Ooh, are these leg warmers arm warmers oh i can't really tell but i've been trying to look for some for the longest time and i've only ever come across them once 2.99 i don't know if i like all of this graphic and print to it just because it kind of looks like winter vibes well, this is the future self-checkout at thrift stores what the heck i'm pretty excited for this let's see so it says card payments only we'll go ahead and start this is actually the last piece i picked up a cute little sweater vest so just scanned it oh easy peasy this is ridiculous i thought it was 4.99 50 dollars for this skirt okay let me show it to you real fast so this is a skirt that i picked up it just has drawstring sides kind of gives it like a mermaid style look to it and this is the brand well it is made in italy so maybe it is a designer brand but i just not too knowledgeable on it but 
This one is gonna stay behind for sure. This definitely didn't go as smoothly as I thought it would. So we actually had to get an attendant to like help us out. Okay guys, we're back from the thrift store now. I've got my little haul right here in front of me and I love savers. I'm gonna be going more often for sure. I just love how big it is. So you can spend like a good solid two, three hours just roaming around. And it kind of reminds me of like a Ross, no, 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 more like a Dee Dee's discount. So if you're not familiar with the Valley, it's pretty much Ross, but like take it down a few notches. Savers is surprisingly one of like the cleanest and most organized thrift stores I've ever been to in Los Angeles. And maybe because the Valley isn't as congested as like mid city, but I just love that all the shoes were on like S hooks, same with the bags, and surprisingly, oh, I'm caught. I walked away with two bags. I never do this. The first one I picked up is this little beaded one here. I love that it's pastel blue, and I think it might have been homemade because if you look past the beads, the lining is actually like little water droplets. But for the most part, it is pretty clear. So it's gonna go with like a ton of outfits, and I don't have to worry about it like clashing with a lot of colors. But then like the polar opposite, we're doing something that's a little bit more alternative and centric. Arthur wasn't a fan of it, but I think it's hecka cute. And I love that it's not that big in size. So usually when I come across these satchels, they're like freaking, freaking big. I also really like that they're crossbodies. I know the little shoulder bags are super trendy right now, but y'all, I literally lose them all the time. So at least I can forget that I have the bag around me and I can, you know, continue shopping or eating wherever I'm at and not have to worry about losing anything. Let's finally get to some clothes now you guys saw this sweater vest as I was checking out already but isn't it so freaking cool I mainly got it just because it is the brand Nordstrom and I actually work there now as a copywriter so it's just so cool to see like older Nordstrom styles I kind of think that the sweater vest trend is kind of over at this point but we need to bring it back because I really like it and they're so versatile honestly my favorite way puffy sleeves, a mini skirt. You could just make it last through all the seasons. Only this one here does have quite a bit of padding on the shoulders and I already have broad shoulders, so I'm just gonna snip these off. Up next is this little sweater here. Did I mainly get it to match the bag? Yes, I did. But also it's a color combo that I really like. So something I did notice at Savers is that a lot of the items that I were picking up, the tags I couldn't read because they did have Asian characters. So I'll bring you in a little closer and if anyone could translate that. Let me know. But I couldn't tell whether a lot of the items I were picking up was like true vintage or if they were modern pieces. But I really like this one. It's just like an oversized sweater with hot pink butterflies and they also have metallic threads through them. So I thought it was freaking cute. This one is a little like scratchy and itchy to the touch, but I'm gonna be using it more as a layering piece. So I don't really mind that. Plus I need more sweaters in my wardrobe. Here's another shirt that I got. Do you guys see how awesome it is? So I really am into embellishment, but just not when it's personalized with like some sort of name. And I'm not sure if this was put on by like the previous owner or whether it just like truly belongs onto the shirt when they like manufactured it, but it says Yassi. I don't know what that means. So I kind of want to take those off, but I feel like if I remove the embellishments, it's going to leave like the sticky residue underneath it. But this is a brand Evelyn. It's made in Italy. Again, another item that has European sizing. And I was coming across a lot of that while I was shopping around. Not sure if they have people in the back who like to curate the store with Italian manufactured items, but this one was pretty dang cool. I feel like this feeds into that like cyber aesthetic that's getting really popular right now. I really like that it has the green contrast details just because the other day, I went to Fashion District and I spent over a hundred dollars on green faux fur So I've been using it for a whole bunch of projects and this has me thinking that maybe I should make a green vest Just to layer over this. I think that would look really awesome You guys know I don't wear t-shirts very often, but if you crop it cinch it at the waist Yes, I'll most likely wear it So I actually picked up a Harley Davidson and it looks like it was reworked, but this was pretty expensive especially for a t-shirt because Usually the thrifts I go to, men's t-shirts are like dirt cheap, two bucks, $10. I spent $10 on this, but I think it's well worth it, especially because it is Harley. But check out this graphic. We've got the wings, the bones, a little Harley Davidson logo at the top. I just like that it's not very obnoxious because usually when they slap on a graphic on the front, it just makes me look so damn flat chested. So I try to refrain from that. And then this one says it's from Motown, Detroit, Michigan. I did pick up just one skirt and now I have regrets. I don't know if I like it. Okay, I do like all the elements. I just don't like how long it is, you know? I'm only 5'3", I need shorter hemlines just to show off a little bit more leg. It kind of just hits me at a weird spot and to get the length that I want, I have to bring the waistband up to my boobs. So, I don't know. I think I might just take it in to get it shorter unless one of you guys wants it. 
let me know. We're down to the last item of this haul and it's the best price item, $6.99 for essentially two items actually, because it's a two piece set. But I showed this earlier and I know just showing it off now because it's a sleeveless top and a cardigan, kind of giving major granny vibes. But I feel like if you style it properly, you can make it a little bit more youthful, sexy and fun. But it's just a sleeveless top. It's like super colorful, but I just love that it's mesh construction, has an all over print. I got to show you the cardigan because it's a lot more fun. It has this lace trim around the neckline. And then let me show you these buttons because look at how sparkly and glittery they are. I've been trying to figure out what this graphic is, but there's so many small details and so many colors going on. I honestly can't make it out, but it's super cute. All right, you guys, that pretty much does it for the end of my Savers thrift haul. If you liked any of the pieces, let me know down below. So let's just go ahead and talk about like my overall rating. So obviously I love the inventory. I love the space. I loved how organized and neat everything was. And maybe that's because I did go literally as soon as they opened. But if they are clean like that every single day, Kudos to them because other thrift stores here in Mid-City could never. But as far as price, I got eight items for $70, which is pretty average to what I'm usually spending anyways, but it still is not cheap. And I don't know why I always think if I'm in the valley or like further away from the city, thrift prices would be cheaper. They really are not here in Los Angeles County. The pieces that didn't work out for me, I'm gonna have them listed on my website, twinl.com. But a huge thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. You guys, if you're ready to take your business to the next level, hit up squarespace.com for a free trial. And then when you're ready to launch, Visit squarespace.com slash twinell to get 10% off your first purchase of a domain or website using discount code twinell. But as always, y'all, I do post videos at least once a week. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!